she's uh, covered uh, post traumatic end of the mitosis quite in detail so i'll be just uh, uh, covering the cases mainly uh, in brief so first case which uh, uh, i saw with cr sir was uh, the 19 year old male he was one night right eye already lost to previous trauma in his childhood so the eye was eviscerated as elsewhere so uh, he presented with trauma to his left eye while he was riding a bike he was wearing a, a pair of uh, he was wearing glasses uh, 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 he was uh, uh, prescription glasses and an insect uh, just fell into his left eye and the piece of a glass uh, fell into it causing the trauma and uh, the trauma was uh, already a week old when patient presented to us was seen in emergency first so uh, the left eye nasally and the nasal uh, part of the cornea had uh, serous negative uh, full thickness corneal tear along with that uh, patient uh, the eye was not soft the iop was maintained pl was there we could see exudates in the interior chamber exudates were settling uh, down uh, make, uh, causing the formation of hypopion the pre op uh, pre operative ultrasound suggested uh, vitreous membranes with a lot of vit vit echoes and uh, so when sir saw the case so uh, we decided to take up the patient ahead with the corneal wound repair anterior cham chamber ta tap and a vitreous biopsy if deemed necessary so this since the patient only had uh, one eye so uh, at the goal of the surgery was to control infection pan off and to avoid uh, evisceration uh, so when the uh, patient was taken up for the repair the uh, corneal tear was uh, sutured with 10-0 monofilament like usually we do uh, anterior chamber uh, tap was taken so the uh, the hypopian which i showed you earlier was completely organized and it was removed uh, with the forceps it was also sent for the microbiological investigation and uh, uh, when we e evaluated the fundus uh, the vitreous uh, was did not appear to be inflamed that much so there was uh, a layer of uh, inflammatory exudates mainly in the inferior part of the uh, pars placata so so uh, what we decided was to just give intravitreal v plus c plus d and vodiconazole and uh, then we uh, decided to keep the patient in close follow up so first day uh, presentation patient was doing good ac did not show any uh, reformation of the hypopion or any uh, uh, any other exudation the wound was uh, nicely opposed no signs of infection on the uh, sutured wound uh, no uh, uh, exposed knots, which is also very important. So uh, then we kept the patient on follow up, and uh, we eventually saw that the inflammatory exudates uh, inferiorly they uh, they got resolved. Uh, all the microbiological investigations they came out to be negative for uh, uh, eubacterial panfungal and QT bacterium agnus, and these are the serial ultrasounds uh, which. Uh, First was done POD1, uh, the 8th of March, which is uh, mentioned above, uh, showed uh, some amount of uh, uh, viticos inferiorly. Uh, this patient uh, was retained with lens and uh, vitreous. We did not do lensectomy, vitrectomy in this case. And uh, 13th March again showed similar amount of viticos inferiorly. Then uh, on POD9, uh, 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 the viticos were still there, but uh, we could see the separation of the hyoid around the peripapillary region. Patient had a low IOP, so we kept the patient for a week on oral steroids after getting the clearance. Um, so uh, my point in this case is, so yes, I have uh, also in, uh, put a few uh, slit, uh, photographs suggesting, showing the clinical improvement in this case. So this is the POD3 on the left-hand side, the slit lamp photograph. This is POD28. So this patient had a BCVA of uh, 660 with the correction of plus 10 spherical. And uh, the optus also shows the, there's clarity in the media. So the uh, right one was, is on POD28. So patient is doing well. So the point in this case, which is to be noted, is that uh, even, uh, even if like the patients with the corneal tear with hypopion, even if it appears that corneal tear is well opposed, it's not leaking. But since the patient has hypopion, that means there is some kind of infection. So there is still a passage maintained from the uh, ocular surface flora inside the eye. So we need to uh, uh, 
we need to suture that tier first. So in this case, an anterior segment uh, department decided to take the cornea opinion first before suturing, which should not be done. Such cases should directly be taken away for the surgery and should be kept in close follow-up. Okay, so case two, uh, this was a 31-year-old male. Uh, he had a trauma to his left eye with uh, an iron particle, a nail basically, and which, uh, which hit the eye and came out so uh, on 14th of march so the history was specifically telling that the iron nail hit the eye and it came out so uh, we were not suspecting iofb so patient came to the emergency uh, right eye was normal left eye anterior segment uh, the ft was soft pl was there so uh, in this uh, so, so there was an inferior nasal uh, uh, corneal tear which was not involving the limbus and uh, um, so uh, iris tissue was not uh, still yet it was not covering the uh, the wound the wound was leaking and there was uh, the lens rupture we we could see uh, which was uh, the, we could see the part of the lens material in ac vitreous was also there in the wound and we could see hypopion hyphema was not there so this is the picture this wound was more than 12 hours old and uh, when the patient came to us, you can see uh, one mm of hypopion inferiorly. And uh, so uh, we decided to take up the case again uh, for corneal tear repair and lens aspiration under under GA and, uh, was, and was advised to take aqua sample for culture and PCR. So the patient was taken up for the repair same day. And uh, on post-operative follow-ups, we uh, uh, on post-operative follow-up, the anterior segment showed the uh, uh, retained lens matter and uh, the series of ultrasound showed presence of vitricos. So uh, culture, we did take the sample and the culture showed no growth. Again, the post-op opinion was taken and it was decided to pay take the patient up again for uh, removal of the retained lens matter and vitrectomy. When uh, the same was done, uh, many sutures appeared leaky, so they were revised and, uh, and uh, changed. And uh, while uh, removing the lens matter from the AC hair follicle, we saw, we removed that. And uh, all the retained lens, uh, lenticular capsule at the lens equator, along with the cortical matter which was left, was removed. The past planar inflammatory membranes were removed. Core vitrectomy was done, vitreous base shaving to the extent was done, and PVD was induced with suction. Patient is doing well. He is a fake kick, but with plus 14 correction. Now patient has 618 vision. So in this case, just uh, the take home messages, if intraoperatively, uh, while any anterior segment surgeon who's doing the surgery, if the uh, person thinks that the, the complete lens removal is not possible at the same sitting, uh, posterior segment surgeon should be called.